Welcome back to another episode of Gurong Pinoy series. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pagsuporta sa ating mga videos. And today, we'll be focusing on Google Docs. Google Documents is essentially Microsoft Word. It's just that meron silang mga copyrighted features sa MS Word na hindi nila pwede makerry over sa Google Docs. Features din naman ng Google Documents that makes it so appealing for the users to switch. How we can use this application to make our lives as teachers so much easier. Without further ado, let's get started. There are so many ways para makagawa tayo ng panibagong Google document. Use any web browser that you have. Pwedeng Google Chrome, pwedeng Safari, pwedeng Firefox. Punta tayo sa Google Chrome and you can go to Google Docs and it will load the page. This is one way, but it it's not as easy as the hack that I'm going to introduce to you. Hack number one, create Google Docs in three seconds. Kaya po natin gumawa sa loob lamang ng tatlong segundo. Subukan natin. Just load the Google homepage. Let's count in three seconds. Go to your address bar, type docs new, and press enter, and that's it. You already have the new Google document. Let's try that again in three seconds. One, two, three, and we're done with another document. Type in the address bar docs.new docs.new let's try that again docs.new enter one two three and you have the new google document it applies not only to google docs but also to other applications so let's say i want to start with a new slide document so just slide.new and enter and you should begin or have your own Google slide presentations. How about sheets? I'd like to have a new sheet. So I will have sheets.new, enter. And it should open a new spreadsheet for you. Hack number two, format Google Docs in two seconds. How do we format Google Docs in two seconds? Impossible. Impossible po. May shortcut lang tayong gagawin. So this is your Google document, it's empty. And what we do is we get and look for our reference. Say our reference is National Geographic for Kids and our topic for the day is Giant Panda. We copy the text, Control C, and then we paste it onto our new document and then we just cite our reference. Makikita nyo, napag nagpaste ako ng text from the internet, it's not formatted in the way that I want. So anong gagawin ko? Remember, we only need Two seconds to form Control A to select, and then on your keyboard, press Control backslash. And it formats it in a default format niya na mangyayari ay normal text and then Arial. And then we do whatever that we want. So let's say add a space after paragraph. Easy formatting in two seconds. That's hack number two. They say that. The more white spaces you have in your document, the more it becomes reader-friendly. Hindi nakakabagod sa mata, hindi nakakastrain. Gamitan natin siya ng intent. Control A, highlight the document, and go to Format, Format, look for Align and Indent. Choose Indentation Options. Meron tayong tinatawag na Special Indent. You can choose First Line. Let's see, a first line and then it creates the white space here and it signals the reader that it's, it's a new paragraph. We can have a hanging indent. Mas marami kang white space. Hack number three, get creative with special characters. You're not limited to just writing letters and numbers. You can use special characters in Google Documents. Let's pimp our document with something special. Click insert and then look for special characters here. Type and then if I want to draw a symbol, let's say I want to draw a heart. And my heart is there. And so I have my special character already waiting for me. Let's say I want an emoji. It's there, a smiling, a smiling face. So it's my an arrow, and 
then insert an arrow is already inserted. Hack number four. Don't get lost in translation. Yes, there's Filipino in Google Docs. Paano kung English yung material and you want to translate it in Filipino? Tools, translate the document. And choose the language that you want. Filipino. And click translate. May makikita natin. Na-translate na siya sa Filipino. In the same formatting, in the same font, along with the special characters that we have. How convenient is that? Halos walang kinakain ng mga pandas, kundi ang kawayan at dahon ng kawayan. Paminsan-minsan, kumakain sila ng iba pang mga halaman, isda, o maliit na hayo. Napakadaling mag-translate. But definitely, there will be some lapses in translation here and there. Pero ito ay malaking tulong pa rin sa mga guru. I wanna change this and translate this. Tools. Let me choose Chinese traditional translate and the doc is translated into Chinese tra traditional. Hack number five, let Google Docs type it for you. And how is that? You just have to click tools, voice typing. You have a shortcut here, control shift S. Good morning everyone, this tutorial is dedicated to teachers who are willing to go an extra mile for the students. Full stop. Let's try Philippines. Ang tutorial na ito ay para sa mga kapwa kuguro na gustong matuto at makapaghanda para sa darating na pagbubukas ng eskwela. Wow! Tuldok! The punctuation mark, you just have to insert. Pero isipin mo, pwede ka mag-type in whatever language that you like, in English or in Filipino. Basta tama lang yung setting mo. Let's try that again, in Filipino. Maraming salamat po sa lahat ng mga nanonood ng ating tutorial videos. Nawa po ay matuto tayo, gamit ang mga ito, at sa darating na panahon ay, ay magkakita tayo ng mukaan. Ay magpakita tayo ng mukaan. It even corrects you kung mali man yung pagkakasalita mo. Ang galing, di ba? Let's try that again. Ang bawat pangungusap na sinasalita ay dapat mula sa puso at makikita sa gawa. You, wherever you are in the house, pwede mo lang i-dictate habang nagluluto ka sa kusina. Pwede mo siyang i-dictate, gumamit kayo ng headset para maliwana. Hack number six, it pays to know the shortcuts. Control A, Control C, and then if you want to paste, you don't have to click again. You don't have to do this anymore. Control V does the job anyway and so much faster. There are other shortcuts that are available. Ano yung mga shortcuts na pwede natin gamitin? Just click Control Slash. These are the keyboard shortcuts. Yung mga basic natin, di ba? Command Shift. L is align text, align left, center align, justify, resize, make it smaller, insert blank, and so on. There's so many shortcuts, and it's time for you to pay attention to them now. Hack number seven, install add-ons. For those math teachers who are asking, how are we going to insert formula? Install add-ons. Anyway, they're free. Click here, add-ons get add-ons and it brings you to the Google Suite Marketplace. Makita mo what it does like this. Makita mo yung mga formula for math. Just click install, continue, and you just use this, your account, and then allow. It has been installed, click done. Where will you see it? Add-ons, math type, insert a math or edit a math equation, chemical formula. And then click insert and the formula or whatever equation is has been inserted. You can have document signatures. You can make word cloud generator like this. Use that. There are no rubric features and some icons that you can use. So many downloads already. One more. Final hack and the most important hack for me, explore in one window. Everything that we've been doing are all here. We might have neglected the one here. I can type any topic. I'm gonna type panda. Control C. 
control V and it's there. I want to format it in the same way as this. Just have to use the paint format. And if I have images, just drag the image and it's already there. Do you think it's a very convenient interface? And even you can have the website. And this is my favorite. For the ones of you who are doing research and you have to cite our sources, you will not be called plagiarizing. Since I copy paste this, you can choose whether your citation is MLA, APA, or Chicago. And we're using MLA. I want to just cite it. So just stick MLA. So nice. So easy to use and everything and it's just in one window you don't have to go anywhere if you have documents in the drive you search for a panda and they are in these documents so you can just open them up thank you very much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and if you have comments suggestions on what will be the topic of our next video please don't hesitate to write a comment down below thanks for watching